Good morning, learners. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to today's lesson, CRE. On our previous lesson, we started talking about expressing faith. And we defined what faith is. We say faith is a strong belief in something or somebody. We also gave an example in the Bible, a person called Abraham. And we all know Abraham as the father of faith. So we also talked about the Apostles' Creed. And I asked you to read the verses that are indicated. So what is the Apostles' Creed, learners? Or let's define Apostle. Who is an Apostle? We say an Apostle is a follower of Jesus Christ. And what is a Creed? A creed is a story which was told by these apostles to their followers. And on our previous lesson, we brought the Trinity into three. That is, we talked about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we were able to define or to say what in each case meant. So today, let's divide belief in the Holy Catholic Church. And we need to ask ourselves what a church is. So what is a church, learners? What is a church? We all know what a church is. So let's talk about Catholic. So Catholic means universal. Universal means that it is worldwide. Worldwide, globally. So that is the meaning of the word Catholic. So Catholic is a universal church, meaning that it is found in every country in the world. I hope you are clear there. So you need to know what Catholic means. You said Catholic means universal or universal church. And as Christians, we believe that in Jesus Christ, we are all one. Despite your tribe, your height, how you look like, where you are coming from. So we all believe that all Christians, we are all one in Jesus Christ. So that is universal. Are we together, learners? So that is another belief that it is found in the Apostle Creed. Belief in the Holy Catholic Church. So I hope we are clear here. So what you need to know what the Catholic means and how we express it. I say that we are all one in Christ, meaning that despite our age, how you look like, or where you are coming from. So let's talk about another word here is belief in the communion of saints. So this is another belief that it is found in the Apostle Creed. And we say, or we can say that belief in communion means that all believers believe in Jesus Christ, the communion. And what is saint? Let us what is saint in here. So we all believe that people who truly believe in Jesus Christ will meet in heaven. And when we meet in heaven one day, we all become saints. For example, mention or give me any saint that you know. Any saint? We can talk about Saint Catherine, what else? Uh -huh. So you know those saints. So we all believe that one day as Christians, if we believe in Jesus Christ, then when we die, then one day we will meet in heaven like saints. So that is also another belief that Christians have in their mind. And the apostles taught their followers. So the followers were able to believe in the communion of saints. I hope we are clear there, learners. So another belief or another part that is always found in the apostle creed is the forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness of sins. So what is sin, Lana? What is a sin? Mm -hmm. When I place here my pen, 
then you come and take it without my permission. Then when I asked who has taken my pain, he denied it. So what have you done? It means that you have sinned. And the sin there is that you've taken my property without, without permission. Or in other words, you can say that you've stolen my pen. You've stolen my pen. Taking somebody's property without permission. So it means that you've sinned against God. So, forgive, forgiving our sins. So when I all, we are always told that God is God of forgiveness. He is able to forgive us our sins. And we are told before you ask God for your forgiveness, you have to first forgive somebody who has wronged you first before you forgive other person. Or before God forgives your sins, you have to forgive your, the person who has wronged you. And then we can give an example of the prodigal son. You know the story of a prodigal son? He asked his father for his share so that he can go away. So what happened when he came back? His father was very caring and he was very he was able to forgive the sin of his son and he welcomed him back to their home. So that is also show us the forgiveness there, the act of forgiving somebody. So these are some of the meanings that are found in Apostle Creed. I hope we are now together by now. We you need to know everything about that is found in Apostle Creed. We started talking about God the Father. We went ahead and talked about God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. That is the Trinity. We broke the Trinity into three. So I believe you are together. I will send you some questions to take everything that we've learned today. I hope you are, you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you and have a blessed day. We will meet in the next lesson.